is London. anybody about this but I have detected four attempts to ambush me in Dublin four attempts essentially to cut me out of the population and abduct me and drag me back to England where they can do whatever the fuck they like <laughs> and because <laughs> they don't even have to give me a trial, obviously I've committed no crimes, but they just want to off me, which is why I ran, or rather moved, Buster Move, in the first place. Now, I've just been out to the shopping centre in one of the suburban towns near Dublin. Oh, and I'm not in the least bit upset. I'm offended. But I'm not scared. So, much as they try and do my head in with their psychology and their conditioning, the fact remains. The game is this. I'm supposed to get involved in local politics. I'm supposed to, owing to my sympathies, with Republican Ireland because of my sympathies for the fact that they know they've been oppressed I'm supposed to get involved in the game now I don't ever get involved in the British game because it is a British game I never get involved in the British game I've lived in the fucking hellhole. Lived. Oh, that's a fucking joke. I've been stuck in the fucking hellhole for 50 years until I escaped. And I've never played the game because I've always understood that when you play the British game, it's a lose-lose proposition. You lose as soon as you play. Now what was the, what was the crate today, what was the crack, whatever they call it here, I haven't learned that yet, I will, but uh, what, what do they call it, what was the game today, the game today, I'm trying to have a fucking cup of tea in peace and quiet after going about my business with my friends and my people wherever they are, done a spot of shopping, saved a bit of money, got some bargains, have my cup of tea and what happens? I'm playing some music. And in on the old shit line on Facebook, they hack their way in and they start making subtle threats and mockery. And so I start making subtle <laughs> fuck-offs to them. And of course, because... <clears throat> Because I'm something of a glove puppet myself, where my sympathies are involved. <laughs> I express certain satisfaction at the apparent discomfiture of British people in the face of Republican sentiment, as expressed in music, available to any tourist any casual punter for a few euros from any good tourist shop. I happen to have got mine from a good tourist shop too. And I, I, I have to say that I was in no mood to commit violence although offended. And in walk a couple of people and what they they're English looking geezers. I've seen the real English bastards up there and they don't look happy when I'm around. But we have a couple of 
English sock puppets that I'm supposed to what? I'm supposed to start kicking off? And that's, that's good for me in what sense? Job interview later this week with a black eye or a broken nose or a missing tooth. How is that going to work out? Professionally. Or, um, um, or maybe in hospital. No job interview? Yay, that suits them. No job, no money, no place to live. Violence in public, no Irish passport. So what was this? After the first four attempts to extract me back to murderland by the English cunts that I can always see coming, we have Mickey Mouse, Glove Puppetry, English Sympathisers being involved in the game. The fact of the matter is that as somebody who cuts up rough in public, anybody, not that they would, maybe I can't get arrested in this town, or maybe I couldn't, but if I cut up rough in public with no visible means of support and no special rights, I could be on a boat back to England whether I like it or not. Do you know what that means? That means finito. So, no. Until I get my Irish passport and citizenship and until I get a job and work a few months and get money in the bank and until I have a gaff of my own not a hotel, because I've been in the situation where hotels refuse you entry over and again, back in the motherfucker country. So, yeah. Pull the other one, Englanders. It's got bells on. I know your lose-lose proposition game. I know how you always stack it. I know how you always win it when everybody else loses just by playing. So don't think I'm going to fucking well fall for it. Not until I'm good and ready. And then I might or I might not. We'll see.